Hello everybody, I'm Serta and welcome back to Supermarket Simulator. A few days have passed, uh, there, there's a few things that have changed. Uh, I'm going to go through all the changes. We are going to get ourselves another license, so some more products on our shelves. And we are going to test some pricing strategies to see uh, what we can get away with. So let's get stuck in. First things first, head down to the computer. We go to management licenses, and I think I'm going to get this one with the cakes and the chocolate bars, the shelf stuff that I, uh, I need to organize. So we'll purchase that, and then I'll do my normal thing and go to the market, scroll down to the bottom, and just get one of each so that we can kind of decide where they're going to go. All right, I will, do, I will sort that out shortly, um, but the pricing strategy... What I've done is just for now, just the chickens, I've marked up 15% above the market price. So um, if I get any complaints, then 15% is too much. Now, if 15% is okay and no one complains, then I'm going to change everything. And that's going to give me over a thousand a day in extra profits, which could be very good. Uh, I'm still a little concerned. I haven't, uh, I've had like every day there's been com people complaining about queues being full, but it doesn't really seem to affect things too much. I have had an increase. I've got 106 customers in one day, which was pretty nice. So we are going to continue. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to just quickly organize where these new products are going to go. So what have we got here? This looks like a cake. So I have a... Uh, I have a cake shelf, but it's full. Hmm. Well, uh, I have chocolates as well. So let me put cakes down here. We'll just have one spot for them for now. I have another cake. I might need to move things around. Get another shelf, maybe. Yeah, this one also looks like a cake. I don't know. Uh, hold on, let me, let me put the chocolates in first. I believe there are more chocolates. I can't remember exactly. Uh, that looks like chocolate, yeah. So this can go over here. Uh, chocolate bar, it is indeed. Okay, so I might then, if the, I can't remember if there are any more chocolates. I'm worried. Oh, what have we got here? We got more yogurt. So dairy section, All right? So I'm going to have to bring it around this side. Maybe, uh, I don't know, we'll have a full fridge for yogurts eventually, I think. Wow, that is quite a lot of yogurt. Then we have another sugar, which is very similar to this sugar. I do have another sugar rack over here, and I have space over here. Good. And then this is... Damn, I have no idea what that is. Brand something with a B. Okay, so this is the chocolate powder. Let's see. Chocolate powder is a drink, so I think I'm going to just pop this in over here. Now making a little collection of boxes in case I need to move things around but yep it looks like we can just use this shelf for the extra cakes okay good so I need to double up uh, on this and then double again for the storage and that should be the last of it so I still got 15,000 left that's pretty good I'll throw these boxes away now and then start loading up all right, all the new products are on the shelf. They're all priced. Uh, there's nothing else for me to do. Everything is stocked. There's uh, some stock of the new products in the storeroom. So uh, we might as well open up. The store is open. So let's see how this goes with that 15% on the chicken. The reason I'm doing it on only one product for a start is because I'm not entirely sure that uh, I would be able to identify which product they, they're moaning about a high price on. So... Yeah, I might do this in stages just to get an idea. Anyway, time lapse time.
Okay, it looks like we are almost done with the day. Last couple of customers. Feels like uh, a fair day. Um, I did notice a complaint on the chicken. So maybe 15% isn't right. Maybe a 10% markup would be the one. Let this guy finish checking out. Goodbye, sir. And then we are done. So yeah, let's finish the day. Right. So yeah, definitely they're not happy about the, the price of the chicken. 103 customers, not too bad. 8,000 odd income. Yeah, also fair. So... All in all, kind of an average day, but yeah, I, I'm going to have to figure out the pricing. So we'll start the next day. Uh, coffee and soda. All right, prices are updated. Uh, let's go in here. So 10% on top of that would be 10.25-ish. If you're not good with mental maths, use a calculator. But yeah, uh, 932 means we, add, we have to add... 93.2 cents on to the market price and that would give us the price so that's that's plus 10 percent don't know if it'll work but we'll see i'm just going to let my restockers finish doing what they're doing i'll order up the critical stuff that's missing yeah it's quite a bit of stuff and then we'll run it for another day and see what happens well the restockers have finished doing what they can do uh, i did kind of run through oh my gosh there's a whole bunch of stuff i missed be right back all right i haven't gone through this terribly carefully because i just want to run another day with the new price see how that goes uh, i think i have everything pretty well stocked hopefully i don't run out of stock on anything but yeah let's uh, give this a go and see uh, at this point i think i have to mention uh let's game it out <laughs> if you haven't seen his video on supermarket simulator i reckon check it out it is exactly how you shouldn't play this game but it was pretty funny. Anyway, it looks like we're going to hit level 83 during the day at some point. So, uh, yeah, let's time lapse. Right, last couple of customers. Uh, this lady's got quite a bit. I don't think I saw any complaints about the chicken price, so maybe 10% is the sweet spot, but we'll see when we close the day off. So let's see how we did. 103 customers again. Ooh, store points are down, but we did hit level 83, but good income today, 8,800. And uh, yep, product found expensive. So cheese, chocolate, and chocolate spread. Right, prices are updated. I'm going back to my normal pricing strategy because this doesn't seem to work. I don't want to have the negatives, so 9.3, and that should sort that out. I'm going to have to run a few days to see if maybe there wasn't another product that I, I missed somewhere along the way. But yeah, that's my take on the pricing. I'm quite happy with rounding down or going at market price. So if you like this video, give us a like if you want to see more. Subscribe, hit the bell icon for notifications. Leave me your comments. Let me know about your pricing strategies and if they're working. Uh, I just want to try and avoid the, the reds on the day-end summaries. But also, I'm sure that the dev is working on a better management screen because currently, it's pretty difficult to know if you've got bad pricing somewhere. Uh, and it takes a long time to go through each price to see uh, if something is out of whack. Also, I'd like a better way to 
see what is running out of stock and what's selling the most and what I should keep an eye on. But anyway, thank you for joining me. And until next time, cheers.